it's Kathy from Lady Stamp a lot. Today I'm going to show you how to put together this window frame swing card. In an earlier video I showed you how to paint the flowers using the white um, white washing technique and today I'm going to show you how to actually make this fancy fold card. All right so what you're going to start with is a piece of crumb cake card stock eight and a half by um, five and a half and we're going to score it. It's just your typical card. We're going to bring in the big shot and I'm going to use the um, squares framelits by stamping up and when I get my framelits like this where there's the same shape but different sizes I start at the small one and I number them one two three four five so we're going to use the size six and then there's seven and then the uh, big scallop. So this is number six, which I have out. The other thing you might want to notice is that I also, uh, when I get my framelits, I make a Xerox copy and then I put it right in here so that they all stay together on a magnet sheet. So that I have a video that explains all that. Check that out. But I'm going to take number six and I'm going to use the magnetic platform, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a bottom plate, very well loved. This is going to be the front of the card. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball um, towards the top with an even edge all around. And I'm going to put another plate on top. And we're going to cut out that opening. <clears throat> Okay. This is a piece that's just going to be extra. We're going to just set that aside. We'll use that somewhere else. Then I'm going to use uh, just a scrap of my color Blackberry Bliss. I'm just going to cut out a frame the same size as that opening. This is going to frame the image that I painted in the earlier video. So I'm just going to ro roll it back through and cut out the mat. That's going to fit behind that. Everybody gets nervous when they hear those sounds, but that's actual normal. So don't worry about that. All right. So here's the frame, and this is this is the the flower that I um, painted in an earlier video, and that's going to be the mat. So of course I don't have my snail handy. Hold on. And I'm just going to snail this to the mat. Um, I have one where I did dimensionals and popped it up. It's whatever you like. I usually do like to have some kind of dimension to the cards. But this one I actually preferred um, flat. So I'm going to just square that onto that. And that's going to be part of it. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of five by six inch white card stock and let me bring in some scrap paper to stamp on. I'm going to take the same flower image that we painted. This is from the You've Got This stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I'm just going to, this is going to be the inside of my card. I'm just going to um, stamp it up a little bit. And I'm just going to um, put this here in the corner. Lovely. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get an envelope. And um, you could do a crumb cake envelope, but I, I like the white to match that. So let's ink that up again. Remember, no naked envelopes. Always take your envelope and do a little something to it. I'm just going to do that little flower image again there on the front of the envelope. Not beautiful. Okay. So now, this is your five by six inches. And I like I stamped it before I scored it just so that it would stamp nicer. Personally, um, you could also stamp a greeting in here. This set has really nice greetings. 
good things are going to happen. You've got this. We're going to use this on the front. But I like to actually hand write a note to whoever I send the card to. So I'm not going to put a greeting in. I'm going to score it at two and four inches on my scoreboard. Love this scoreboard. And see that way, if you had that score first and then stamped it, it would be just kind of blurry and it's okay. But if you want it really pretty, it's better to score it afterwards. All right, so I'm going to fold this together. I do have my bone folder and I'm going to fold this back. Okay, now just on this piece here, I'm going to add some snail. So just on this third of the card or whatever adhesive you like. Some people like the glue stick. It does not matter. I just prefer snail. It's quick and easy. And then I'm going to just center this top to bottom with about a quarter of an inch um, margin right there. Okay, so then that's that. Fold that up. Close your card. And this is where this piece is going to fit right back in. And if you close it, you're going to get it right in the exact right place. Now this is, love my fingers, this is where you could add dimensionals if you want to, right here. Again, I'm just going to leave it flat. I actually liked it flat for some reason. This, I guess because it pops out, that's the dimension. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it closed so I know I don't get a piece of where I don't want it. And I'm just going to put some snail right here. And then I'm going to lay this right in the opening. It's hard for me to do under the camera. Did it pretty good. And then that's going to be your swing out card. Okay. That's how that works. Really super easy. Now I'm going to add the um, message at the bottom, the greeting that says, I'm here for you. And so I've cut the um, paper to size. This is um, two and three quarters by two and three quarters by one inch. And I'm taking the I'm here for you stamp. And with these wood ones, it's kind of hard to get it, but I don't care if it's perfect. I think it's not perfect. It looks homemade, and that's fine. Perfect! I'm here for you. And now, we're going to make the, um, the mat to go underneath it. Okay, I'm going to take this piece of um, Blackberry Bliss. It's the same color as the mat, the same color as the ink I used on the flower. I cut it the width of the card, which is four and a quarter, and this is one and a quarter. And then I'm going to use this new punch, the Trio Corner Punch. It punches out corners, and this is a little button slide to make a little hole in your card for buttons. I'm going to slide this into this um, shape, this little embellished flower edge, and punch. And then I'm going to take it out and put it in again on the other side upside down and that just gives a cute little border and then I'm going to go the other way love it and that's going to be here and here we'll finish that up Again, you could use dimensionals on here. It's just whether you like that look or not. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm just going to put that on there. And I think I will put the dimensionals on um, this whole thing. Just to pop it up off of the card. So 
So this will go down here. And we're just going to try to eyeball that straight. And then have to add a little bit of bling. Here's my rhinestones. I like to keep my rhinestones in a clear mount um, stamp case. And I keep a piercing tool right in there to lift them up. And it makes it really easy to um, get that adhesive off the bottom of the rhinestone and move it where you need it to be. So there's that. Thanks for stopping by.